Hello everyone, this is the ME Tutor. Um, we're going to do a little Thermo 1 today, um, and this is problem th chapter uh, 3.19, um, chapter 3 out of the Fundamentals of Thermodynamics. We'll get right into it. Okay, so this one says, a tank contains a two-phase liquid vapor mixture of refrigerant 22 at 10 bar. The mass of the saturated liquid in the tank is 25 kilograms, and the quality is 60%. Determine the volume of the tank and the fraction of the total volume occupied by the saturated vapor. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're, we were given refrigerant 22, so that's a liquid we're working with, and then we're looking at pressure 10 bar. So we'll go to the tables, and we come here, pressure bar, this is table A8, saturated refrigerant 22, come down here to 10, and we're going to write down these values. So this is 0 0.8532 and 0 0.0326. Um, for saturated liquid and vapor, and you remember the saturated vapor one is times 10 to the third power, so you have to undo that. All right, so let's go write these down real quick. Um, Vg is equal to 0 0.0236, and that's meters per kilogram, and Vf is equal to 0 0.8352 times 10 to the negative 3. And that's also meters cubed per kilogram. Units are very important. I'd always um, recommend writing them out. Um, just kind of, that way you don't get lost in your um, own work. Um, another thing we're going to do is now we're going to plug it in this um, formula because now we're trying to find our specific volume at 60%. Um, so to do that, we're going to go V is equal to VF plus X, which is our quality. Vg, which is our um, saturated vapor, minus you know, Vf, which is our saturated um, liquid. And we're going to plug in the numbers. Plus. All right, cool. So now I have that written down. And so that's going to equal 0 0.0145. And a way to kind of check um, if this number looks right is this number has to be smaller than your vapor. Because if it's larger than your vapor, then you did something wrong. You probably you know forgot to add something. Um, because it can't be larger because this is when x equals 1. All right. So... Um, what are we doing now? So this is our saturated um, um, specific volume for um, our mixture. So now we're going to look up the definition of mixture, which is going to be, or the quality, and X is equal to um, mass of the vapor, which is mg over the mass of the total mixture. And so now um, the mass of the vapor, or, or the mixture, is equal to mass total minus mass of vapor plus the mass of the liquid. And then you can rewrite that as m total minus mf is equal to mg. Okay, so now we're going to plug this in for x, or for mg, um, and then we're going to solve for um, m total. So here we go. x is equal to m total minus mass of the liquid minus m total, and then we're going to do some algebra here, and that's going to simplify to this, um, the mass of the vapor, or the liquid, is equal to um, mass total, 1 minus x, and then we're just going to solve for that, so I'm going to write right over here, and it's going to be mf over 1 minus x, is equal to m total. So this will tell, tell us the total mass of the whole mixture. So now if we plug in our numbers, um, 25 over 1 minus 0.6, um, and that will give us 62.5 kilograms. So now to find the um, total volume, not specific volume, because that's what this is, we multiply these two numbers together. Um, and that would give us our volume of the total tank. So volume of the tank is equal to 
62.5 times 0 0.0145. And that's going to give us 37. Oh, my bad. Sorry. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. That's going to be equal to 0.9. Point nine zero six three meters cubed. So that's one of our answers. I'm gonna box that. And so now we have to find the um, volume of the liquid, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna multiply, or we're going to find the mass of just the vapor. So this is the total mixture. We know the mass of the liquid, so now we're gonna find the vapor. And we're gonna go back to this equation here. And 62.5 minus 25 is equal to 37.5 kilograms. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this by the um, specific volume of gas, and that's going to tell us how much volume the gas, uh, the vapor takes up. So 37.5 times 0 0.0236, and that's equal to point. Eight, eight, five, and we divide 0.885 by 9.063 to give us our fraction, because this is the um, this is the volume of the vapor, and this is the volume of the mixture, um, and that's going to equal 0.977, and this is a fraction. So the vapor, as you can see, takes up most of the space and the liquid is very small. Um, thanks for watching today. I hope you learned something. Um, if you can give me any comments down below on some things I can do better. This is my first video, so I'm still trying to, to work on it. So hopefully next time will be better. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.